Imagine that this is your day. You climb 200 feet into the air and sit in this tiny little box. From there, you spend the next 12 hours watching out of these windows and trying to keep track of every single detail on the construction site below you. Accidents are bound to happen. That's partly because of difficult physical conditions. All the time I am hunched over like this to see what's happening down there. By the end of my shift, my back is killing me. If I want to urinate, I need to find a bottle. It's not very pleasant. This is my entire workspace. And part of that is just the limits of human ability. If I am 200 feet up, my eye can't zoom in and see who's working below. I need to rely on my radio here. And that makes construction a dangerous job. Roughly 40 people die each year on construction sites in Israel. In the United States, it's 5,300. But what if you could take the people off the construction site? That's what one Israeli company is doing. Remote-controlled cranes with a high-tech cockpit that rivals in airplanes. Now look here. You can see the wind speed. And with that, I know where the crane arm is and will be. This machine is linked to a series of cameras, sensors, and other feedback that lets the operator work from the comfort of an office. We can operate cranes uh, off crane, off site. We can we can operate cranes from another country, another city. It makes economic sense. If a crane operator doesn't need constant positioning data from the rest of his ground crew, you need less workers, and you spend less time moving things around the site. At the end of the day, uh, we are cutting uh, times, construction time, uh, and we shorten it the project. Uh, this is uh, the main issue for contractor, developer, also for the end user, the, the, the guys, the, the couple that buy the flat. So we cut down the prices of the flat and it all, it's all start here. It also solves a market problem, a decline in high-skill construction workers in developed nations. According to the Associated General Contractors of America, the construction labor force in the U.S. is imploding 7% year over year. The young generation, the next generation, don't want to sit up there, you know, uh, minus 20 in Moscow or plus 40 in uh, South Africa. They are the Xbox generation. So uh, the combining, okay, the, the, the high-tech solution with the uh, tower crane machinery, actually we are uh, bringing, uh, let's say, a new generation of operator. Remote operations like this would allow companies to outsource heavy machinery jobs to international contracting firms operating in much cheaper nations. That might cost jobs in an industry already in decline, but the hope is that the increased productivity and lower prices will offset that. And a world of robotic labor is already here.